Good morning. 10.53 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 1120, 11.29, 2012, very special day today. Um, one of the things that we would like to cover is the Dow Jones. It's at 13,041, up 56 handles. We've had more headline volatility coming out of the White House than we've seen in a long time. Last week and the prior week, we said that from the correction phase that we were deeply oversold in a shorter macro time period and that we were due for a rally in November and December are the two best months. The bottom rally up has been headline driven by Mr. Obama, Mr. Bonner, and many other people in Washington. A lot of people are getting tired of it because they would rather have these things done behind closed doors where these headlines don't create the kind of volatility. 1364 is going to be this half bar resistance. I will tell you that from 1129, we had 223 points yesterday. We sold down here to this support level. We were down 100 points and we had 223 points from the bottom up and this daily bar yesterday based on the White House coming out again with this great recovery that supposedly we're going to get. The thing that I would like to caution to people is, is as we go up and rally into this thing is there's a lot of controversy around what the Republicans and Democrats are doing. The Democrats do not want to cut fiscal spending. And the Republicans keep coming back and fighting the fact that they say, hey, listen, we're willing to give on one side, and they are, but listen, there's got to be cuts across the board. The Democrats don't want to talk about that. All they want to do is put the blame on the Republican side in case they don't come to a resolution. This is the rally of the volatility rally. Remember, as I have always said, you will bounce from oversold conditions. These daily sell signals come back up. You rally back up in trends. We're in the best calendar month. It's all headline driven. A lot of people are still waiting on the sideline. This is the Dow. And it's above the 200-day simple moving average. The same rule over here. On the S&P 500, which cleared its 200-day simple moving average, but let me just re-emphasize that you were deeply oversold within the correction of the S&P, and we got down here to my 1350 handle. But let me tell you about something. Moving forward, is is that once the S&P comes up, that 1350, that's still right back down here, can come back into play in January and or parts of December. They mark these equities up. They were oversold. They get their relief rallies. That's what's going on in the S&P 500. S&P 500 is now at 1417.96. As I said, when we come up to the declining 50-day simple moving average here, that's that resistance level. But as I have said, 1427, 1430 on the S&P right up here, it's going to have a major problem there. Within, from being deeply oversold to coming back up. We don't have a buy signal. Sell signals are still in play on the daily, but that's going to be the wall of resistance. On the NASDAQ composite, from deeply oversold, that was in the biggest correction territory, it too has come off of its deep and, and it started with gaps but just let me caution people it's all about the White House it's all about Republicans it's all about Congress they need to stay out of the headlines and let people do their business the thing about it is is we have lots of subjects that we'll be talking about moving forward in calendar 2013 this is a 2012 yearly November deeply oversold market they like to rally up in November and December these are going to rally from oversold bear trends to resistance levels 
and this is the NASDAQ composite and what it looks like. 100 day moving average, 50 day moving average is going to come into play. One of the things that we'll cover again is this NASDAQ 100. It got deeply oversold down here and that's 100 stocks. They got it above the 200 day moving average as Brian Plain said. They were going that way yesterday. Here is what we call the, 100, the 50 days about to cross over this yellow line. So when things are deeply oversold in the two best calendar months, like we clearly pointed out, these are short-term rallies from oversold conditions. Until they get back to daily buy signals, they still remain deeply, they're oversold rallies, but they still remain in their bear short-term macro, short-term bear cycle coming up to hit resistances. I've covered the Dow, I've covered the NASDAQ 100, covered the composite, NASDAQ composite, and the S&P. And listen, it's all headline driven. It's the time of year where stocks like to make higher highs uh, in bull runs, but we have a fiscal clip and we've got all kinds of stuff. The headlines, I don't even know how the internet can keep up with the amount of headlines that are coming out. Of course, the bull is going to feed off of it from the oversold condition. So we teach you how to trade oversold conditions, but then again, to unload them into the major resistance levels. I'm going to conclude as of right now at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time, all of the headline news that has been coming out all week, last week, how markets sold down when they didn't like it, how markets pop up, but there's a lot of controversy. Nothing's been done. There is no agreement yet. There isn't, no one's wanting to talk about cutting the budget, cutting that way down. I mean, listen, they need to come together. And I can tell you, I don't blame the Republicans because if you're going to raise the taxes to pay for Obamacare, which and all of that potentially in 2013 could be a 900 billion dollar uh, that is take what that affects small businesses. There is a lot that's going on, and there is a lot of things. So if it's, if you're gonna listen, you, you can't have the tax increases to pay for Obamacare and then not cut the fiscal budget. Democrats don't want to cut no spending. How are they going to reach an agreement? You have to have those spending cuts, which would bring down the growth a little bit lower in the first half of the year of 2013. But longer term, it would help set up a new bull. There are things that they got to be willing to do, and there are sacrifices that have to be made. Right now, this is where we stand from oversold bear corrections to short-term bull rallies from oversold. It's everything that we told you on our website last week and the week before. And that volatility would increase. And they bid them up. If there is any hint at all, everything that you see from this rally right here is at jeopardy until they come to their senses and do the right thing. The other thing that we'll point out very clearly is, is that we've rallied from the oversold condition back up to the par levels based on them doing the right thing. So from the oversold condition to the current highs of this oversold condition is how much of that news is really priced in there already. And which way the market, because you see, they're not going to be able to win both things. There's going to have to be a sacrifice on cuts called entitlements, called shrink the government, shrink the government. So big government to little government, and then cutting the spending and the entitlements across the board. Because you can't simply blame the Republicans when the Democrats aren't willing to step over there and do these cuts. They agreed to it. When he got elected, hey, we're going to make cuts that are very, very, very important. They haven't done it. Be careful of the volatility. Know what you're doing and know that you're going to be driven by extreme headlines. This is our major market update on all four indexes.